I would say that I was disowned from April 2016 and estrangement became my decision April 2017. So I've been estranged for around 10 months now. Coming to university is difficult. Um, as an estranged student, I think the, the level of difficulty is amplified and that's because you're balancing your personal struggles, which are so much more than anybody else that's coming to university, um, alongside your studies and normal day-to-day -day life. You still have to get on and do things. The world's still turning. You've still got to get this degree. You've still got to keep going. So it is quite difficult because there are so many trigger points throughout the year. In general, you know, you've got Christmas, you've got birthdays, you've got Easter, and then on top of that, you've got all of your family trigger days where it's your mum's birthday, it's your sibling's birthday. Basically, my success or my failure, it was heavily depending on what, what on me really. Uh, it was heavily depending on me because I had to work uh, practically full time whilst being a full time student. So it was not always easy uh, and definitely um, a bit depressing at times. Estrangement affects one in five people. This isn't a small minority of people that are slipping through the net of support. This is a massive amount of people that are feeling invisible and want to be heard and want to be seen. Uh, nine years ago now, I um, can't believe how long it is. Very sadly, both my parents died within weeks of each other and they were the last close family I had. I did my best to keep in contact with some members of the estranged family, uh, but most of them sadly didn't want to know. Uh, there was one who uh, I think was very helpful for several years. And I thought, I'd have one last go at university um, at my age. I think it was the last chance. So I have to say the the extended member of the family who uh, I was in regular contact with, uh, it wasn't the easiest of relationships. Uh, uh, I've, I've had various very complicated personal issues. Um, there are many factors why a student would be estranged from their parents. Um, my case personally is not due to um, any uh, feud or misunderstanding. My case is because I decided to move away from my parents. I decided to move away from my home country, which is Belgium. And um, I think that most of the time when people hear estrangement, they think immediately that it has to do with uh, family circumstances being challenging and, and difficult and maybe uh, uh, feuds and, and, and whatnot, which is not always the case. So many people just think that it was an easy decision to make and it really wasn't. It's one of the hardest decisions that I've ever had to make in my life to date. To, to grieve for a family that's still alive is exceptionally difficult. It's a, it's a new type of grieving that I've never ever come across before and I'm still grieving. Um, the assumption that this was an easy decision and it was something that was that it was a simple choice is just it, it's it's heartbreaking to hear when people assume that. So thinking about the effects and links between estrangements and loneliness, um, estrangement can have really detrimental effect on your mental health because you feel like you don't have any support and you don't have any of that vital kind of comfort or um, the welfare network that you need around you to kind of fall back on when things maybe go wrong. So my role relates to estranged students because I'm part of a dedicated team um, who support estranged students at the point where they start thinking about university first of all. Um, so I support them to feel that university is an option for them most importantly um, and to apply to university. Um, the rest of the team that I work within um, in student support services would then um, help the student to apply for financial support for example 
um, to meet with them if necessary, to have a chat with them about what we can offer them uh, while they're at the University of Sheffield and then support them throughout their student journey. Um, the widening participation team that I work on, we work with any students who are underrepresented in university. So part of my particular role is focusing on um, estranged students, for example, because they are particularly underrepresented. I was aware of some personal support uh, when I came to university with regards to um, mental health and problems that you might encounter when being at university. In terms of estrangement, there isn't much visibility around uni about what it is and, and what support is available, so I kind of had to, to look from a broader perspective of the support. So I accessed counselling and wellbeing, um, which was really useful to me. Um, it was a much shorter wait list than what was available on the NHS, so that was a real bonus to me because at the time I, I really needed that um, and I really benefited from it. For me, I couldn't fathom that anybody else was going through this. It was only me and I didn't want to accept that. I wanted to meet somebody else in a similar situation and after accessing the current support that was available at university and after speaking with a member of staff who works with estrangement and that is the diversity officer at university we you know set up and facilitated a support group for estranged students that support group is called PAUSE that's an acronym and it stands for people at university separated or estranged and the idea behind that is to meet other students in a similar situation that you have a, sh have a shared experience with you that can resonate with you on how you're feeling on your trigger days and your down days. And to literally just press pause on what's going on outside that room and just be you in that room. There's been some very good counsellors here. Some of them have been at, uh, more on a professional level, others have been on, on more of an advisory level, if you want to put it like that, but they've all been very good. Uh, actually helped me in the sense that I didn't feel so alone in the end. I think when you're an estranged student, it, it's sometimes it's hard to cope with the loneliness. So knowing that there's someone out there that might be going to, uh, through the exact same thing or maybe something even worse is in a way a bit comfor comforting. So we've got a comprehensive offer of personal support for students at the University of Sheffield who are estranged from their families. Uh, we took the standalone pledge because we're really dedicated to supporting students um, to be able to access advice while they're studying with us here at Sheffield and also beforehand as well and on the journey through that. Um, so there are lots of different ways in which we support them. So we focus on, on areas like access and, and transition from um, thinking about university to getting in. Um, we then also support them with student finance as well, with applications and also with our own um, enhanced bursaries and um, things like the Unite Accommodation 365 uh, day a year offer as well. We also look at um, support for mental health and well-being as well. So the university has a um, dedicated team who um, students who are estranged from the families can contact um, either to talk about how things are going for them or our contacts can refer them to the best person to help them. Um, we have uh, mental health professionals like counsellors for example who can meet with the students. Um, but there are also other ways as well of supporting, so we have um, an independent student advice centre at the university, so that can help with any issues with student finance for example, or issues with um, the university itself if, if they need to speak to someone independently. So the support comes from um, staff and then we also have sort of student centred support as well, so all students at Sheffield get access to a mentor who's in the year above them. Um, and the idea behind that is just so that there's no wrong door really, so there are lots of ways um, to seek support. I did some stress workshops, coping with stress. The university also offer mindfulness sessions which I accessed and, and were really, really helpful with me because one of the struggles that I had was I was feeling so many different emotions on certain days. It really helps to just be present and kind of really focus on how I'm feeling in the present moment. Someone who's estranged at university can seek help through so many different ways um, by joining a society and meeting lots of like-minded people that um, can substitute for that network that they might have lost. Um, there's so many different support services at Sheffield University and at other universities around the country.
The University of Sheffield provides an enhanced bursary for students from an estranged background and the bursary is worth £4,500 per year. It, there's no limit on the number of bursaries we will award, so if a student uh, is confirmed as being estranged through the student finance process, we will honour that, that decision with a £4,500 bursary. The support that I have received from them I'm extremely grateful for. Um, to answer the question of whether or not it's sufficient, I'm, I'm grateful for it and if they ever wanted to give me anything else then you know I would, I would accept it. I'm extremely grateful for the support that they've currently offered me um, and I do think they're consistently trying to offer more. I've personally not had any difficulties in accessing any kind of support at university, whether it be student finance or accessing the grants and bursaries available to me at university. However, I have met a couple of other estranged students through being here and one you know, girl that I've come across, her relationship with her parents was very negative but she still had contact with them. Therefore, she couldn't be assessed from Student Finance England as independent. Therefore, she didn't qualify for the higher amounts. And I think that's something that should be highlighted because her relationship is extremely negative and she's missing out on the extra funding available to her because she hasn't, I suppose, broken away from her family yet. It's probably going to happen but because the relationship isn't, in terms of their definition, irreconcilable, and she hasn't not had any contact with them for a period of 12 months or more, she isn't able to access that extra support. I applied for support and I didn't receive any. Um, my case, the reason why I didn't receive any was because According to um, the student finance bit, I was classed as an international student. My financial situation while I was a first year student, uh, it was very bad I would say because um, I was on a very low wage and therefore I was working a few more hours to make sure that I could uh, support myself, pay rent and feed myself. And, everything that came with it. We have funds uh, for emergency financial support that we may be able to support a student in the interim while that decision is being made with student finance. We also have a very helpful student advice centre based in the student union who work with students and with the student finance to make sure that they get the correct assessment. And if they've been uh, denied from student finance, so mm. they've had their decision, mm. um, is there any chance, are there any reasons that you would further deny them, or is the student finance England decision your decision? We would work with, we would look at the student finance and we'd actually look into the reasons why student finance denied it before making our own determination. But if student finance do deem the student as being estranged, we will provide them with that enhanced bursary. I think estrangement is something that is really under-researched and is an area that is often overlooked because it may seem that few people experience it when I feel like there's a bit of a taboo surrounding it still. So it may be the case that a lot of people who are going through this aren't speaking out about it. If it affects one student, it's too many. And if, as I said, if that impacts on their studies, as it has done with me in some ways, I think it's very important. I think things that we could do to um, improve awareness of estrangement, I think training is, is a really important area um, for staff and I suppose I'm thinking of staff within universities and, and really getting the message out there as much as possible. If universities had posters up or advertised support groups for estrangement or advertise that counselling would cover issues with estrangement and just you know make it a bit more of a talked about subject rather than something that is brushed under the carpet and not spoken about.